Hello everyone, today I'm going to be doing a video on the Convoy L8. I want to see if it's actually brighter on a QB26800 cell. This is a cell that I bought separately from the flashlight. I got this from an Australian dealer. They're very difficult to find. There was only one or two places over the internet that uh, you can actually get them shipped from Australia. And um, I couldn't find a way to actually get it shipped from China. So lucky to get hold of one of these. Uh, that cost me close to $30 just for one of these cells. This is the cell that came with my flashlight. So it's an unbranded cell. Um, don't really know what it is, but having a look on the BLF forums and also just on Reddit, I can see that these green wrapped cells are pretty common. They come with the flashlight. And I was also speaking to Simon about the cell because uh, I've actually wrapped it uh, further at the bottom with some electrical tape, but it actually came with uh, part of the bottom uh, negative terminal sticking out, as you can see. And uh, it's weird because I did see a few of these for sale, which also have this same sort of um, bottom part exposed. So I'm really not sure what that's about. Um, but I ended up just putting some insulation tape at the bottom to um, make it feel a bit safer. So you can see as well here at the bottom there, it seems to be taken out from some type of module. I'm unable to actually measure the capacity, but Simon from Convoy says that it is a new cell that has uh, zero cycles. So uh, what I wanna do for this test is that I wanna see which battery, if any of them, whether um, this, the light will perform better on either of them. So I'm gonna be doing a ceiling bounce test. Um, as you can see, both of these cells are charged uh, to 4.2 volts. So without further ado, let's go ahead and give this a try. So I'm gonna be turning off this light, just dim this down. Okay, and over here on the left, you'll be able to see uh, my lux meter on my phone. I'm just gonna put in, let's put in the uh, QB26800 cell first. Okay, and I'm gonna put the flashlight in the usual testing area, just a little area marked out on my table. And I'm gonna drop that in straight to turbo and let's see what the lux figures look like. Oops. One, one, eight, nine. You see it just uh, slowly start to drop. Turn it off. One, one, eight, nine. Let's try again. One, one, eight, six. It sort of topped off a bit before. One, one, three, seven. So one, one, eight, nine seems to be the, um, the max of this uh, QBT cell. Let's go ahead and drop in the stock cell that came with the flashlight. I'm not sure what brand this uh, cell is, but it does look different from the uh, QB26800 cell. So let's put this in. And I know the, the QB26800 cell was advertised, uh, well, this new one that I have anyway is advertised as uh, having a 30 amp draw. I'm not sure about this uh, stock cell. So we will soon find out through these uh, th these tests. So number to be is 1189. Reset that. 1149. Really not much of a difference. 1157. 1128. Yep, so I really don't see much of a difference, maybe 30 lux difference or something like that. Um, I thought it might be worth buying this new cell to see if it would produce some higher lux figures. But um, yeah, from this test, it really doesn't look like any significant difference. I was also looking potentially at, at doing a tail spring bypass, but um, I'm, I'm gonna consider it and see uh, what my options are as well. This light is super, super bright as is. I just don't want to stuff it up by uh, messing around with the spring. So 1160, so yeah, look, it's, I don't see any difference. It might've just hit 1189 because the uh, light was fresh before. So um, turn that turn that light back on. 
So there you have it. There's uh, no difference. So the stock sell performs just as well as uh, a fresh QB26800. So at least I got a, a spare sell if I need it. So I hope this video was helpful for you. If you enjoyed it, make sure you like the video. And if you want to see more, subscribe. And uh, if you have some more questions, uh, any comments or yeah, just any feedback for me, just let me know and I'll, I'll reply in the comments. Thank you.